Hello everybody, this is Stringing and we're back for the concluding round of Group F. And we got three vital matches to go through, starting us off with a big game between Hex and Team Africa. I mean, I compare this one to Khalid versus Team Asia. Then we have Mr. Dinosauria going up against LP Gozzi and Cheer Knights looking to make it 5 out of 5 when they take on Dino Fans. So yeah, let's not chitty chat, talk is cheap, let's get on with the matches. Well, huge, this is, this is a huge game. If Team Africa win, oh, we're in the Alpha Arena. I can't, no, we don't have Alpha Dinosaur, sadly. But it's always nice to see the Alpha Arena. Seems to be the less common arena we see in this tournament. Actually, I will do that. When I finish recording the group stage, I will compile a list of all the terrains we've had and how, me and how many times they've appeared and see which one's the most common and which one's the least common. But I have a feeling that the Alpha Arena will probably be the least common. Right, for Hex, in the red corner we got Tank, of course. Oh, hang on, we do have an Alpha Dinosaur. We got Alpha Rajasaurus. Ooh. Licking your lips, you Hexy boy. It's, 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 like, it's like buses. You wait for one and then two come at once. Because I think in the... I think in one of the other final videos we had alpha ter yeah that's right the champion team had terrain advantage with the alpha castle swords okay in the blue corner for team africa we got a frovenator team africa no mixed bag so far but they're in that fourth they're in that fourth position spot which is crucial a bonus point win for team africa will automatically take them through to the last 32 rounds a win will put them four points clear of mr dinosauria and knock hex out of the tournament I'll have to double check the head to head between Team Africa and Dinosauria. I think Dinosauria won. But a win for Team Africa will mean Mr. Dinosauria will have to get a bonus point win against LB Gozzi. Right, so this Afrovenator it does have Quick Strike, so it will start with Skizzers. And we'll see if he gets the Quick Strike off. Right, here we go. Oh, he does it! And instead. Tank's gonna get a crit. Oh no, they call. Oh wow, a funky Alpha Arena. <laughs> Not much damage dealt though, but as I said, her moves are very balanced, Tank. Okay, is that something you think I should do for next time? If I when I do a tournament again, should I give the Alpha Dinosaurs terrain advantage in the Alpha Arena? And when I say Alpha, I mean Terry, Tank, Terry, Spiny, and Tank. Do you think they should get terrain advantage in this field? Okay, so Team Africa and Hex want to swap when HP is below half, so it'll be time to swap out the Afrovenator. Ooh. Afrovenator getting the hit there, getting the swap, which could be crucial because... Oh wow, that was a pathetic amount of damage. The Aranosaurus comes in. Aranosaurus does have the type advantage, but can they take advantage of that Team Africa? Ooh, that's a hit. Dromeo Rush come in. Boosh. Wow, Tank is so... Like, I mean, she's buffed up with defense boost as well. Super defense type. Really resilient little tank, isn't she? Uh, I think that's just above half, so I won't give Hex the chance to swap yet. Now I will, because that's a tie. Trying to swap out Tank. Oh, it doesn't get the swap. That's probably going to end Hex's hopes of getting a bonus point win. Which they don't need. They just need to win. A win will be enough for Hex to go in that top four. But, ideally, they would have wanted a bonus point win. And it doesn't look like they're going to get it. Oh, it doesn't look good. But, the Alpha Rajasaurus does come in with terrain advantage. So... Aranosaurus will get hit next. Could that terrain advantage help Hex get back in this contest? I mean, it won't do too much damage because it's a paper hit. But there you go. A hit there to stifle Team Africa's growing momentum. Because they did have momentum there. And there was another tie. Another tie. 
Oh, the blunder effect there playing out from the Alpha Raj. Ooh, a Rhinosaurus gets the swap into the Frovenator. And the Frovenator will yet again go for a quick strike. Yeah, just reading my conditions, that's all. <laughs> but yeah. Doesn't matter anyway, it's a tie. But look at this, Team Africa on the brink of a big bonus point win and they got it! Despite the terrain advantage. Oh, hang on, nope, nope, not yet. <laughs> Come on, Raj, get a hit. Oh, no, they got the hit anyway. Team Africa is getting the bonus point win. And that will all but secure their place in the last 32 round. And as for Hex, they will be, be bowing out of the tournament. Oh, that was... Yeah, Team Africa had a lot of momentum there. Even with a terrain advantage, Hex just couldn't wrestle that momentum back. Right, let's have a look at the table and we can move on to our second match. Well, that bonus point win for Team Africa has put them through to the last 32 round and knocked Hex out in the process. And yeah, Mr. Di not a good result for Mr. Dinosauria either. Mr. Dinosauria still has a chance, but they're going to have to get a bonus point win against LP Gozzi in this upcoming match and hope that Cheer Knight defeats Dino Fans without Dino Fans getting a losing bonus point. But anyway, let's go on with that match. Well, this is it, isn't it? Oh, um... Oh, well, GG, out he goes, he's winning this match, well, that's different, <laughs> Oh, dear. Yeah, in the red corner of a dinosaur, we've got Tijongasaurus, it's going to have terrain disadvantage against Gozzi's first dinosaur, which has terrain advantage. Although, this Super Displitosaurus will have terrain advantage. Not all's lost, but when you need a bonus point win, you don't want to have terrain advantage. Oh, dear. Yeah, that's a tough draw there, but okay. Skip. In the blue corner for LP Gozzi. We got Terry. Well, Gozzi can't win the group, and I don't think they can drop any lower than second. But we'll see what they can do. I mean, let's be honest. It's a shot in the dark. It's a shot in the thing. If they win, they win. If they lose, they lose. It's not going to change anything. Backing up Terry, we got Ceratosaurus. But yeah, remember remember the last time that Terry had terrain advantage in this tournament? And the Afrovenator died in two seconds? Yeah, this the same thing could happen again. Because since the Tajongasaurus has terrain disadvantage over the Terry, which has terrain advantage, Terry will start with a crit. Okay, so. Oh, they both want to swap in HPs in the red. Well, Tajongasaurus' HP is about to be in the red. Oh, but the Dino Stuff! Oh. <laughs> Always forget the Dino Stuffers. It catches me by surprise. But, oof. Crucial Dino Stuffer that stops any terrain advantages from happening. That was a good, well timed Dino Stuffer there. Is that tight? Dodging the bullet there, Dinosauria. Dodging the bullet, but you're not going to dodge this hit. Terry does indeed get the first hit, but it's not the crit that he would want. Tie. Oh, it's another hit. Remember, this Terry does have death fire as well. So if Gozzi gets that off, then Dinosauria is definitely out. Oop, that's a tie. Not going to stop the swap yet. I mean, the Despedosaurus' terrain advantage will be wasted, but at least they'll keep Dinosauria's hopes alive. Oh, no! Well, I'm probably going to rush this, because, you know, it's... The Tajongosaurus isn't going to survive, no matter what I do, not see the vapor. But, oh, the disaster! And that will confirm Mr. Dinosauria's exit from this tournament. And honestly, a surprise. A real surprise. You know, looking at all the combatants, all the teams, I didn't think Dinosauria would be going out of the group stage. You know, given in the last tag tournament, they got all the way to the final. But yeah, this is a big surprise. 
Alright, the Awakening Mode's on three, so let's see if Dinosauria can at least finish on a high. Oh, there's a crit. There's a crit on the board. And yeah, unfortunately, the, the Spinosaurus won't get any terrain advantage because Terry also has terrain advantage, so it like cancels each other out. Twice. Oh my god, Gauzy gets the hit and he gets the swap out as well. <laughs> the Spinosaurus will get Awaken Mode next. But yeah, it doesn't look good for Dinosauria. God, he's probably going to go on to win this match. But as I said, you know, because they're two fire dinosaurs, when and if Terry comes back in, it won't get terrain advantage. So there is that. I think the Ceratosaurus has dino stuff up. Right, Dinosauria is all on this. I bet you would get a crit, but the dino stuff is going to stop it. Oh, he's going for it. Oh, oh my god, he doesn't even get a hit. Doesn't even get a hit. Absolutely brutal. And I mean, the terrain disadvantage made no difference in the end. Because Gauzy's been on top anyway, so... Yeah, it's... Yeah, there it is. Going down like a lead balloon against LP Gauzy. Wow, that was uh, kind of underwhelming, to be honest. But as I say, I thought, as soon as I saw the terrain, I thought, okay, yeah, GG, Gauzy's winning. But they got a bonus point win, and to be honest, the terrain advantage and that didn't really make a difference. Because the dino stuff would have been eaten up anyway with Terry's other crit. And then the Tajongasaurus would have died anyway. So yeah. I can say with confidence that Gauzy was probably going to win this match anyway. So commiserations to Mr. Dinosaur. Yeah, but LP Gauzy looking strong. Going into the last 32 rounds. And they will secure second place. Right. We'll have a look at the table real quick. And move on to our final match of this session. Well, that is how Group F is going to look going into the final match. I mean, despite the bonus point win, Alpi Gauzy will not be able to top this group. Cheer Knights has the head-to-head -head, have has the head-to-head -head over them, and unfortunately for Mr. Dinosauria, they're bowing out of the tournament, kind of on a whimper. But there we go. So yeah, Dino fans already through after those first two results, but we'll probably want to finish third because whoever finishes fourth in this group will end up playing Diddy Darius. Of course, then again, if you finish third, you'll end up playing Maastrician. So it's kind of a toss up really, but you'll probably want to take your chances against Maastrician and the current champ Diddy Darius. But yeah, if you're one of them two, you're probably going to fancy yourselves against whoever, whoever you get, whether it's Team Africa or Dino fans. So yeah, important for Dino fans here, kind of don't want to face Diddy Darius. Leave it to Team Africa, but we'll see what happens. Can Chair Knights make it five out of five? Let's find out. This could be Chain Knight's toughest match so far. Oh, okay, what field is this? If this is the field I think it is, then it is going to be tough for Chain Knights. Because I think Dino Fans is first dinosaur, and yes, it is going to have terrain advantage. So, that's going to make things difficult for Chain Knights. But yeah, we have the Imperius Amargosaurus, and back it up, we got the Steg. Chair Knights, well, already group winners after round four and already know their opponent in Black Beauty. But can they make it five out of five? And they'll be the only one to do that so far. But here's where things could be sticky for them because in the blue corner for Dino fans, we got Paki Rhinosaurus. So Paki Rhinosaurus does have terrain advantage and it does have type advantage and is heroic type. Which means that that Gatling Spark, should it get triggered, well hell, even a generic crit is going to do a serious amount of damage to that Amargosaurus. And as if Chain Knights ain't got that to worry about. And as if Pachyrhinosaurus isn't, as mu isn't much of a threat, this Armatus is. Okay, at least for Chain Knights they don't have a Wind Dinosaur, so they don't have to worry about terrain disadvantage. But yes, this Pachyrhinosaurus does have the terrain advantage, and it will start with Brock. So yeah, this is going to be a good test, yeah. Okay, let's double check. So yeah, they both want to swap when HP's below half. Ooh, 
Ooh, it's a good start from the Pachyrhinosaurus. Dino fan starting strong. Uh, that's bang on half, so we won't swap yet. And it's a tie! And that's exactly what... Well, it's kind of a toss-up. But it's kind of what, what Dino fans want, because it triggers the gap in Spa. Ooh, well, it doesn't matter. Crit's going to kill a at this point, but ties do suit cheer knights. Oh, it's a crit! Cheer knights showing why they've won four out of four. Getting the crucial crit there, swapping that Amargosaurus out, and then and letting the stag come in. Ooh, but Paki Rhinosaurus does get to escape, and that could be crucial as well. Because he'll come back in with that terrain advantage, the Gatlin Spark has been triggered. Right, this on Armatus now, it's on to the stegs. The crit from the steg. Ooh, I maybe Chain Knights has turned the screw in this match, but that Pachyrhinosaurus is a major fact. Oh wow, there's a lot of damage. Okay, yeah. Now I think Chain Knights has turned the screw. Big hit from Chain Knights here to turn the screw. Right, and that means that the steg will be going for paper. Armatus. You can't go scissors. Gets the tie. Will attempt to swap back into that Paki Rhinosaurus. Ooh, and gets the swap. Gets some recovery going as well, but that's all the swapping that Dino fans will be doing. And I think this guarantees that Stegosaurus is going to die because Paki. Actually, that's a big moment because Paki Rhinosaurus comes in with a terrain advantage gets a crit and is going to stop Chain Knights from swapping out, so he's going to get a hit on Amargosaurus too. Boosh! Boosh! Could that swap be the turning point? Now, Chain Knights is in trouble. Now, now things get interesting. Oh, there's another tie. Oh, that's game over for Cheer Knights. Dino Fan pulls it off. Pulls off a bonus point win against Cheer Knights to end their winning start. And the Packy Rhinosaurus, like I said, it would be proven to be a big factor in this match. And Cheer Knights taste in defeat for the first time in this tournament. But, like I said, the work was done already. They're already top. They're already through. They already know their opponent. So, you know, if you're going to lose, it might as well be now. But as for Dino fans, big win, impressive display, and a confidence-boosting result going into that last 32 round. But that concludes Group F, so let's have a look at where everyone finished. Well, nothing's changed, really. But yeah, we'll have a look at where everyone finished and see who will play who. Well, that's how Group F finishes, ladies and gentlemen. We have Cheer Knights and LP Gauzy joint top, but got Cheer Knights above Gauzy by virtue of the fact that they beat Gauzy. Then we have Dino fans storming up to third on 11 points, and then Team Africa in fourth. And then we got the poor saps at the bottom, Hex and Mr. Dinosauria, bowing out at the group stage. Right, let's have a look at all the matchups. So yeah, gonna be a tough match there for Dino fans going up against Maastrician, who's been one of the form guys in this tournament. We will also see LP Gauzy taking on whoever finishes third in Group G, which at the minute is Nopi, but Group G is so tight, that's probably gonna change. Then down here, we have Team Africa, a daunting prospect for them, going up against the champs, Diddy Darius. And if you're Diddy Darius, you're probably really happy with that. And then, well, we already knew this matchup ages ago, but we have Black Beauty going against Cheer Knights, which will be the last match of the last 32 round. And yeah, not much to say there. That's it for Group F. So I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like. Thanks for watching. And until next time, ta-ta.